Hi guys, my name is Garrett. I'm going to be hiking the Pacific Crest Trail this year. Uh, I wanted to go over some of the gear that I'm going to be taking out there that might be a little bit different than some of the other hikers you've seen. Uh, to start off with, I have my pack. It is from Osprey. It is the Aether 60 AG. Um, Osprey makes a very good pack. They're very strong and durable. Uh, they're a little bit heavier than some of the UL packs out there, but uh, what they make they make that up with uh, with comfort and stability. Um, the padding on the shoulder straps and the hip straps are th extra thick, uh, so they're very comfortable. They're very st uh, sturdy. Uh, the AG system on here uh, helps take a lot of the pressure off your shoulders, so it feels like you're carrying a lot less weight than you actually are. Um, these, these packs uh, with the internal frames are actually meant to carry a little bit heavier load than the UL packs. Um, which is why I kind of went with it because my base weight's around 16, 17 pounds. Uh, with food and water carry, I'm getting somewhere around 30. Um, and that extra support in the frame really helps out a lot when you're trudging up all those mountains. Um, for my tent, uh, as with a lot of the hikers out there, I went with the z -Pax Duplex tent. Um, there's a lot of space in this tent, the vestibules, the double side entry um, is really going to help out. I'm hiking with my dad this year um, and hoping that we make it all the way up to Canada together. Um, so that tent should be big enough for the two of us. Uh, inside the tent, I'm going to be sleeping in my big Agnes sleeping bag. This is the Lost Dog 15 degree bag. Um, it's got a little bit extra loft in there, keep uh, me warm in the Sierras and up north in Washington when it gets cold. A um, uh, neat aspect of this bag is that there is no bottom to it really. Um, it's kind of like a quilt that way, um, but it has a slide pocket that you put your inflatable pad into so that when you're sleeping you don't roll off of it, uh, which was kind of cool I thought. Um, where the sleeping pad, I have the Climate. This is the insulated V Ultralight SL. Um, it is really warm pad. Uh, it only takes about seven or eight breaths to fill it up versus you know some of the other pads that are out there where you need the bag to you know inflate your pad for you because it just takes way too many breaths to do it. And at that high elevation that you're going to be in in the Sierras, that is just not cool. Uh, for pillows, I'm going to take out this inflatable climate pillow. This is the Pillow X uh, large size, um, just a couple ounces, so that's really nice. And once again, only takes a couple breaths to fill that up. Um, it'll be nice to have a pillow to lay my head down onto at the end of the night. Um, for my puppy jacket, I actually went ahead and bought a, a Sitka brand puppy jacket. This is the Backcountry hoodie. Um, Sitka makes really good, lightweight, really warm, insulated jackets. Um, the hood I really liked, um, so if I don't want to put my beanie on or if I'm just trudging around camp or whatever, I'll just put the hood on. It's got an elastic strap on the, around the hood, which keeps it nice and tight around my face. So that's really nice too. Um, for my eyewear, um, I actually found this company, Jolbo, that does it. This is their Explorer Series brand sunglasses. Um, they have 100% um, UV protection lenses on here. They're kind of like transition lenses too. Um, they get darker as the more direct sunlight gets on them, uh, which is really nice. They have removable side shields up here as well. So if I don't want that 100% light coverage or blockage, um, I can take those off. And um, also the arms on these things are 100% flexible, 360 degrees. I can do whatever I want with them. And that just keeps them nice and tight no matter what I'm wearing on my head, hoodie, beanie, you know, whatever. Um, I can fit these right to my head and they'll stay nice and secure. Um, also have the straps that go around uh, make sure I don't lose them. Uh, for water carries or for water out there on the trail, I have the Sawyer Squeeze filter as well. Um, very common out there, and you'll probably see this pop up in some of my other videos down trail. Um, 
where we go through some cleaning and some tips and tricks that some people might not know that really helps out and makes this thing a little bit cleaner uh, for everybody on the trail. Um, I pair that with the Seanock Outdoors uh, water bladder. Um, it has a nice slide top on here so you can collect your water a little bit easier than trying to get it through just the individual uh, nozzle like you have to do with the um, Sawyer Squeeze ba water bags that come with it. Um, the thread matches the Sawyer Squeeze um, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, for clean water and drinking, I have the Hydropack 1.5 liter um, bladder with hose and bite valve. Um, I started off with smart water bottles in the Appalachian Trail. Um, switched over to bladders with a uh, hose and bite valve about halfway through. It just made it easier to get to my water to get a drink when I wanted it. Um, take a sip every so often instead of stopping, you know, once an hour and guzzling water. Um, just made it nicer, easier. I stayed hydrated better. Um, as for cooking, I have the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Um, really nice. It has a really wide um, arms on it to hold your pot or your pans. Um, very stable. I mean, there's nothing worse than getting to camp and starting to cook and then your pot or pan falls off and you lose your nor pasta side. Um, it also has the adjustable flame uh, on there so you can actually cook with things. I did the jet boil on the Appalachian Trail, really good for boiling water, not really good for cooking in it. Um, for food carry, I have the Z-Pax bear bag. Um, really big bag, holds a lot of stuff in there. Uh, it's got the Velcro top on there and loops around and clips and has the bear hang carabiner on there already. Um, and that matches up with the, um, I'm not sure what they call it, but it's their food hang cable system that z -Pax has. Really lightweight, thin cable. Um, comes in a little bag that you can use as a rock bag. Um, to toss up there. Um, but that's pretty much everything I have uh, in front of me to go over with you guys. Like I said, these are all very individual decisions for me that uh, other hikers might choose other items. I uh, just wanted to get them out there in front of you guys. They're all great products, as well as the other hikers gear is probably all great products too. But like I said, these are my choices and what I can work with. So um, other things that I'm not showing you guys um, socks, clothes, shoes, toiletries, every hiker has these. They're all pretty much the same. Um, so I don't want to go and bore you guys with all that kind of stuff. So um, I am also going to be carrying with me a, a larger battery bank this time around because I'm going to be taking my GoPro Hero 7 white camera with me so that you guys can follow along on the trail with me and meet all the people I meet and see a lot of the stuff that I get to see. Because that's one of the best parts of hiking these trails in America is you get to see these amazing sights and I want to share them with all of you guys. So happy trails guys. I hope to see you out there or I hope that you're following me and watching me out there. All right, see ya.